Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're talking about controlling our weight as a hitter and I'm gonna give you three drills that we use to help our hitters understand how to properly control their weight. So um, we've got a couple things to get into. The first thing is, uh, what does it mean to control your weight and be in control of your body as a hitter? Well, for me, it all starts with uh, the ability to load this back leg right here and not only load it, but keep it loaded as we stride forward. It's really key. So we've talked about it in some other videos, but the idea of loading this back leg, the way that we talk about it, the simplest way to think about it, is that we wanna feel our back pocket make a slight turn towards the pitcher. When that happens, our hips are gonna to start to close or coil. And when our hips close or coil, this back leg starts to work back in the opposite direction that it's going to turn when it's time to hit. So you should feel like you are connected to the ground. We'll talk about grabbing onto the ground or screwing down into the ground, right? So that feeling of screwing down into the ground or grabbing, in, grabbing the ground with our lower body as it loads, you'll feel that foot really feel connected. You should feel your whole foot in the ground, okay? So that's the first thing when we wanna control our weight, we've gotta get ourselves loaded. Now, this is one part of hitting where a lot of times coaches would just say, hey, get your weight back or get loaded, right? And so when you see this again, it's a coiling action. My leg is working back this way, right? I'm, but I'm not, I'm not just shifting my weight back. So that's what you'll see a lot of hitters do. They'll just get back like that. So I'm coiling and feeling like I'm getting down into the ground. I'm not just shifting back. Because if I just shift back, I'm going to probably shift or jump forward. That's the second part of it, right? So it's not only getting loaded, right, getting the back leg loaded, but then it's when my front foot picks up and I stride, can I control that weight? If I just shift back, well then I'll probably push forward and shift forward early. If I coil and load my back leg back properly, well now when I pick my front foot up, I continue to coil and I'm not going to jump to my front side, okay? The better job I do of controlling my weight by loading the lower body properly, well, one, my timing will be better because I'm going to control myself as I move out instead of shifting or jumping. If I shift forward, if I jump forward, if I don't control my weight, well, it's really difficult for me to see the ball as well. It's difficult for me to adjust to off-speed pitches. And so I've got to do a really good job of controlling that weight. The other thing that happens is hitters that want to jump forward when they jump forward, they typically want to swing forward. And we want to feel like we're going to turn our barrel deeper in the zone. The only way I can turn my barrel deeper is by staying connected to the ground and keeping my weight around this leg and not getting forward into this leg. If I get forward into this leg too early, I want to swing out here. If I do a good job of coiling, getting this leg loaded, and then staying loaded as I stride out, I'll have a much easier time turning my barrel deeper in the zone and getting the barrel behind the ball, okay? So those two things are why it's so important to get loaded and control my weight around this back leg. Now, let's talk about some drills that we can do. So I've got three drills that we're gonna to do today. And uh, we, you can do these drills off of flip balls, thrown balls. Today we're gonna to use uh, the tee. Um, so this is a Tanner Heavy. So I love this tee. The, th the great thing about it, especially if you're working with younger players or someone old like me that can't really hit anymore. Some people say I never could hit. But the good thing about this tee is that you can hit this tee pretty hard. It's not gonna go anywhere, right? So it's got some weight to it. There's nothing worse than working with a hitter or being a hitter yourself. You hit the ball, you, you clip the tee a little bit and it falls over and you gotta pick it up. This, not going anywhere, okay? So, um, great tee. Here are the three drills. 
The first one that we'll do is, and you don't have to do these in any particular order, okay? Um, but the first, let's go with the first two that require really nothing. You don't need any equipment or anything. The first one is super simple. It's just a Babe, a babe Ruth drill, okay? So you're just gonna take your feet and you're gonna put your feet really, really close together, all right? So a few inches apart. Now what this is gonna force you to do, are really two things, one, You'll be able, because your feet are close together, you'll be able to make sure that you're able to make this coiling move right here and get that back leg, get around that back leg and feel yourself screwing down into the ground. So remember, I'm trying to get my hips to slightly close or coil and that's gonna get my back leg to load back. All right, so we're gonna have our feet close together. We're gonna coil. I like to coil and stop and make sure that I feel that pressure in the ground. Again, I'm grabbing onto the ground. Now from here, because my feet are so close together, I have to have an exaggerated stride forward, right? And it's gonna be bigger than your normal stride. Because I have that exaggerated stride forward, it's going to force me to really control my weight as I move out. So again, I don't want to feel my weight shifting forward. I want to feel like when I get coiled, that as I pick this foot up, I'm going to continue to coil, stay coiled, keep your hips closed as you move out. If you felt like your body was split in half, the front side is going to move out, the back side is going to continue to stay coiled and back. Now it's not this. So it's not this move right here. This would be all my weight back and reaching out. Remember, it's a coiling action. And now as I pick up and I start to move out, this leg stays back. You can think about your knee staying a little bit more over your foot. It's not gonna stay completely over, but it can't collapse forward like this, okay? Once I do this, I'm shifting forward. So we're gonna start our feet really close together. We're gonna to fight to be back as we stride forward and then we're gonna hit. All right, I'm gonna do one here. I'm gonna try not to hit the camera. So you can basically get into your normal position. Then just bring your front foot to your back foot. Now you're gonna to get to that same hitting spot but it's gonna be exaggerated, right? I'm gonna actually, let me move up a little bit. I'm a little bit afraid that I'm gonna hit that camera. So I'm gonna coil first, I'm gonna hold it, I'm gonna pick up, fight, 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 hit, okay? So that's the first drill, it's just the Babe Ruth drill, coil, fight, 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 keep it back, keep coiling, boom, you hit. Now the second one is basically the same thing, except on this one, instead of having our feet just right next to each other, we're gonna just cross our front foot over our back foot. Okay, so that's all it is. It's the same idea. I'll be here, cross my foot. I'm gonna coil, I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna fight, 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 fight. Hit, okay. The last drill, I call it a crate drill or a hover drill. All we're gonna do is take any implement. You can use a ball, a helmet, we have crates that we use, um, but I'm gonna show you simply just by using the ball. You just need something to put your front foot on. So we get into the same position as the Babe Ruth drill, but then we just put our front foot on something. So now I can't put any weight on it, right? So I'm nice and light. All right, so I'm gonna set up. I'm really light on that front foot. Now I can feel myself again, coil around this back leg. I have no weight here. I'm gonna pick up and fight to stay coiled, fight to stay coiled, fight to stay coiled, and I'm gonna hit. And I almost forgot that the camera was there and got a little bit close. So those are the three drills, all working on controlling your weight. If you can control your body, then you can control your swing. Right? I've gotta control my weight, get my back leg loaded, keep it loaded, as I stride out. So hopefully that helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. 
Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.